What is up guys, back in with another video. So I um, got done with my third chemo last week. Um, halfway there, halfway through chemo, exciting stuff. Um, but um, in other news, the Bears finally drafted, it looks like their savior in Justin Fields. I am thrilled about the pick. Obviously I'm a diehard Bears fan. So I'm absolutely fired up about this draft pick. Um, I'm all in on the Justin Fields train. You can already see I've got a couple of his Sage autos here. But um, I have not opened a football product in well over a year. The prices were too ridiculous in 2020, and they still are in 2021. But now we have a player worth looking for. Um, we didn't in 2020. Um, you know, Cole Komet was in some stuff. But we didn't have a first-round pick, so there wasn't a whole lot of Bears hits to be had. So I wasn't really buying product because I didn't care. Um, there was nobody to really search for. Um, but this year there is. So... Welcome to episode one in the Justin Fields hunt. Uh, my goal in 2021, my collecting goal, I should say, is to pull my own Justin Fields autograph. I already bought two of them from Sage because it's one of the only products out. Um, I already bought two of them, but my goal is to pull my own this year. Um, I'm really excited to try and do that. I think it'll be fun. Um, you know, the boxes aren't going to be cheap, but it is what it is. We got ourselves a quarterback. I'm excited and I'm going to buy the boxes because I'm trying to pull him. Um, so box one that we have here in this series is 2021 premier draft low series football from Sage. Uh, a lot of people don't like Sage because they don't have logos, um, but I don't really mind if I'm being totally honest. I mean, they're not like good looking cards or anything, but they're fine. I don't have any issue with it, to be totally honest with you. Um, a bunch of the big name players have autos in this stuff. I don't believe Trevor Lawrence does. I, I know that um, Zach Wilson does. I know Justin Fields does. I know Trey Lance does, but I don't think um, Trevor Lawrence does. So that would be the one guy you're not gonna pull from these boxes 16 autographs in here one autograph per pack so you get a ton of hits um of guys who you know just got drafted or signed as an undrafted free agent somewhere um that's another thing people don't like about this product is there's a lot of guys who are like undrafted free agents but so it's like that's exactly what contenders is and everybody loves contenders so i don't really get that complaint but you know whatever um, then a box on Friday I have coming in. It actually says it's supposed to come in Thursday, but I don't think it releases till Friday, so I don't see how that's possible. Um, but I have a box of, um, Onyx Vintage Extended that comes out. They're doing football this year. Onyx does baseball usually, um, but they are doing football as well as baseball this year. And, um, two on-card autographs per box. Um, so I pre-ordered that and that should be coming in. But anyway... Let's get into this. Rondale Moore. I'm a big Rondale Moore guy. I think he's going to be a stud for the Cardinals. Chris Wilcox, Jordan Smith, and autograph number one is a defensive end. Rashad Weaver. Rashad Weaver autograph is our first hit um, from Pitt. Yeah, I'm not going to be super familiar with every single player. Can't say that I, I recognize that name off the top of my head. But, oh, I'm just chucking things over here. Michael uh, Strachan and Kenneth Gainwell. But for 16 autographs, and, and the price point is sub $200 pretty much everywhere. And it's not true. I think Blowout actually has them for more than $200, which is kind of odd because the other places don't, and Blowout's usually cheaper. Uh, this is a good-looking card. Peep Performance of Dylan Stoner. See, they have decent looking cards. I don't think they look bad. I mean, they don't have logos, but I don't think they look bad. It's a nice looking card. Uh, Marlon Character. Micah Parsons, the first rounder for the Dallas Cowboys. And we got a kicker auto. Quinn Norton. Quinn Norton, kicker auto. Uh, definitely from Michigan. A All-American first team in 2015. Yeah, out of high school. I'll have to see where he ended up. There's another Micah Parsons. Um, I'd be happy with just Justin Field base cards, really. <laughs> I would be okay with that. Trey Lance. There's a nice one. So our first rookie quarterback. 
Uh, Riley Cole, Warren Jackson, and our next auto is a quarterback that looks like Peyton Ramsey, you know? Yep, Peyton Ramsey. He signed somewhere. I can't remember where. Um, Northwestern quarterback. Rashad Bateman, first-round pick for the Ravens. Dalen Hayes. Got these stacks kind of weird back here. But, like, that's a good-looking card. That Justin Fields is a good-looking card. I know it doesn't have logos on it, but... I don't see how you can look at that and say it's like not, it doesn't look nice. I think it's a really nice looking card, actually. Uh, Micah Parsons, again. Uh, Kenne Nwang Nwangu, the Iowa State running back. Jamie Newman. And our auto is a linebacker. Tevante Beckett. He needs to work on his signature. That is for sure. But a Tevante Beckett autograph from Marshall. How many tackles does this man have? 218 tackles. It's not bad. I don't know how many years he played for Marshall, but that's not bad. And a Micah Parsons next level. Um, I think you get one on-card on auto per box, typically. Don't, like, double quote me on that, but I, I think that's what I've been seeing from the breaks that I've been watching. All right, Rashad Bateman, and this is going to be the on-card autograph. So I'm actually going to save it um, because I can tell from that, you can see the little red there. Uh, I can tell you it's not Justin Fields because that's not the same card. Um, but I'm going to save it just because it's an on-card auto. And I'm going to go on to the next guy. It's typically your better players tend to be your on-card autos or, you know, players that they think are going to be better. You never know with these in the NFL, though. That's the thing. Sage Sherratt, Rashad Bateman, Elijah Griffin, Jamon Osborne, looks like Texas A&M. Yep. Osborne, I'm sorry. I said Osborne. That was not right. Andre Sisco, uh, Ambry Thomas, and Dalen Hayes. He's been the last card in like six straight packs oh i'm putting stuff on top of the autograph all right kyle pitts next level on the back i don't know if he has autos in this stuff this one's red rashad bateman justin fields you gotta love it even though it's just a base card i i wanted one so i'm happy with that uh kyle pitts next level chris wilcox Autograph. He went to uh, BYU. He did nothing in uh, no interceptions. I don't know. I don't know where he went, but he didn't do a whole lot in college. Uh, Javon Holland, Wyatt Davis, and then another next level Kyle Pitts. This one, you can see one of them's gold, one of them's black. So some variation there. You just get so many autographs. It's fun stuff. You just never know what anybody's going to be. You know, like when, when you bought 2017 product, you didn't think George Kittle was going to be uh, the best tight end in the NFL or debatably the best tight end in the NFL if you want to go the Travis Kelsey route. Um, and there he is, Mark Webb. So you just never know. Joe Tyron, running back. Kenneth Gainwell. I do not know where Kenneth went. But there is an autograph of Kenneth. Kylan Hill, Tutu Atwell, and Osiris Mitchell. It's tough to remember where every single person came from. All right. Next up, Micah Parsons. I'm not even going to pretend to know. No, not saying his name. Uh, Kenneth Gainwell again, cornerback. Marlon Character. Where'd he go? That looks like... Uh, I actually have no idea who Jersey that is. I was going to say Louisville, and then I didn't, and I should have, because it was right. And I'm disappointed in myself. That's all I have to say about that. Alrighty. Trey Lance. You gotta love it. D'Angelo Amos. 
Sage Surratt. This one's going to be a peak performance auto of Javon Holland. Safety from Oregon. Recorded six tackles and returned an interception for a pick six. So the peak performance come in variations too. You can see the uh, kind of off to the left because it's very glary that Justin Fields though is a four of five or one of five, I'm sorry. So they do have variations of the peak performance autos. That one is the base, just the red. And then there's like a blue that's a one of one. So there, there is some variation in this stuff. Nico Collins, Brady White, Greg McRae, and their auto is a safety. D'Angelo Amos from Virginia. And a Jamie Newman, next level. I like the next level inserts. I think they look, they look pretty clean. I'm just a sage hype man over here. I think they get more hate than they deserve. I, I do. I don't think they make bad cards. Jalen Camp, Brady White. Autograph is Joseph Asai. Joseph Asai. How many tackles does this man have? Pretty good college career. Sean Wright, Jamie Newman. Um, four more packs left. And then our... Um, on card auto, these are sick. I love these cards. They're one per box. Um, obviously would have loved Fields, but Jalen Model, not a bad one to get either. See how he does catching passes from Tua, but uh, these are just really cool looking cards. These art gallery look really nice. I like those a lot. Um, Elijah Griffin, Caleb Fairley. Offensive lineman, Mike Brown, West of Virginia. Oh, you need to check the back on that one. Larry Borum has autos in here, too. I would like to pull one of those. That'd be cool. Uh, Kenneth Gainwell, Peyton Ramsey, Jalen Camp, and wide receiver, Dwayne Eskridge. All right, Michonne Wright, J.C. Horn, and Kylan Hill. Peak performance of Sam Ellinger. Apparently, um, Sage is a lot higher on him than most because they have him. Oh, Kyle Trask. Linebacker, Riley Cole. Recognize that name. Probably from watching breaks of this stuff, to be totally honest with you. Uh, Micah Parsons, next level. All right, last pack, and then we have our uh, on-card auto set to the side. Kenneth Gainwell, Sean Beyer, it's cool for the Iowa PC. Pat Fryermuth and a safety, Javon Grant. From Merrimack. Trey Lance, another Trey. Joe Tyron and Sage Surratt. All right. Let's do our on-card autograph here. We will see what we get here. J.C. Horn, Kenny Randall, Pat Fryermuth, Rashad Bateman, another Rashad Bateman, Greg McRae, D'Angelo Amos, and... Looks like a lineman. Ooh. All right, so that's going to be a pretty, uh, as I'm sage hype manning it up here, um, that's going to be a pretty disappointing on-card auto. Uh, Aaron Banks, um, first team all I mean, yeah, he's a good player, uh, but that, that auto is just not really acceptable, um, if we're being totally honest with each other here. That is not what you want to see. Um, completely streaked out and, and just not a really good looking card at all, quite frankly. And
and these on-card autos do have the potential, I mean, as you can see, uh, to be really nice looking cards if, if there's some effort put in, but uh, there was not in this one. Um, let's go through the autographs real quick. Uh, like I said, I don't necessarily know every single person yet. Uh, we have the Aaron Banks on card auto. Uh, we have Javon Grant, Riley Cole, Dwayne Eskridge, Mike Brown, Joseph Asai, D'Angelo Amos, Javon Holland, Marlon Character, Kenneth Gainwell, Chris Wilcox, uh, Jamon Osborne, Tavante Beckett, Peyton Ramsey, Quinn Norton, and Rashad Weaver. And I will definitely check to see where everybody went to school here very soon. Um, disappointing on the on-card auto, but we did get a Justin Fields base, so I'm happy about that. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll talk to you later.